Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about BPC-157, in particular, injecting BPC-157 and where to inject at. Now, this can differ because people's injuries are in different places. And we get the question all the time from patients, where should I inject this medication? So I'm going to go through a couple examples of where you guys can do the injections at for your medication of BPC-157, a healing peptide, along with TB-500. You can use these in conjunction and they work very good together if you guys are really looking for a super healing therapy package. But we want to go through BPC-157 and show you some of the different places where you can inject it at to hopefully help you heal your injury quicker. So the most common areas are in the shoulder, the deltoid area, um, in the knees, um, and tennis elbow, golf elbow. We really get a lot of these from patients and they want help. So the knee is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna do it today, but if you're sitting down, you pull some subcutaneous skin and you can inject it right in the area. Now I'm gonna go through the other ones with you, deltoid, uh, for golf elbow, for tennis elbow, because these are more in depth um, not so much the deltoids, but for golf elbow and tennis elbow. So when we go through these, the first thing we're going to do is, and let's start with the deltoid, we're going to clean the area. So this is my deltoid or my shoulder area. I'm going to make sure nothing's touching it. We're going to start with a little circle, and then we're going to make that circle wider, pushing that dirt out. Okay. Okay. Once we do that, we're gonna let air for a second, make sure we don't push any alcohol inside. We're gonna grab our needle. Okay, we're gonna do, do, cap the needle, and then we're gonna go subcutaneously at a 45 degree angle, not intermuscular at a 90 degree angle, but 45 degree angle. And it's closest to wherever the pain's at. So if the pain's on the inner front or the side, you're gonna go right in like so. You're gonna inject right in, you're going to pull right out. It's that simple and that easy. Done with it. So if delts are your problem or your shoulder issues, you can inject closest to the area in the shoulder subcutaneously and get it right in there and you should be good to go. Now subcutaneous is at a 45 degree angle, like I said. So the next area, and these are the most common ones that you know we get the questions about because people understand pretty easy deltoid, knee, and they, they inject closest to the area. But like, John, where do I do this for like golf elbow and tennis elbow? So let's talk about it. So tennis elbow is usually in the forearm area right here. That's why people, when they have grip problems, it hurts them, loss of strength, uh, hurts on, on pull downs. Um, you know, they really feel it. And usually it's a grip area and it comes up right through into the forearm area. So wherever the pain's at, and usually the pain is right here. Okay. You're going to grab your needle, decap it. We're going to make sure the area is clean. And then we're going to go in at a 45 degree angle subcutaneously, not a 90 degree angle, a 45 degree angle subcutaneous in the skin. Now you might see a little bubble in the area. That's okay. That's the medication. And subcutaneously, it's going to be absorbed into the body. So that's where you hit it for tennis elbow. Now, golf elbow is a little bit more tricky. So let's go over it. Let's clean the spot first. We're going to reach behind here. And if you need to, you can use a mirror and look straight ahead. Okay. We're going to go right in here. Okay. And luckily, I'm a pro at this. But if you need to, use a mirror. You'll be able to see exactly where it's going to go. You can actually have or your partner, whoever you're with. Okay. Don't make it all flexed out. Loosen the arm. Look in the area of where you're going to go. Subcutaneous. Now, you don't have to directly put it right on top of where the pain's at. So if you can't reach and you can't see back here, don't just be pointing the needle in there and poking it in there. Make sure you know and can see the closest to the injury of where you're going to inject that. All right, that's key. So you're going to want to follow the instructions, the directions on your vial, um, or you can call or text the office to make sure you're going through the instructions um, properly 
So you're getting the right doses of medication and you're injecting in the right spots. Um, if you have any further questions or concerns, please call or text the line 727-389-3220. Check out our website, www.tightmedicalcenter.com. There's gonna be more instruction videos coming at you guys, so stay tuned.